In this short video, we're going to look at a new feature that was added to SAP Companion version 3.1.33. This is the Spotlight on Hotspot option. It wasn't in the release notes, but it's definitely there. So this is a feature that allows you to effectively provide something similar to what was the focus layer in SAP Companion for Desktop, but in SAP Companion for Fiori Guided Tour Steps. So I'll show you a quick example of this. I'm going to go through a guided tour here. I'm going to go through this one entering a sales order. This is on the Manage Sales Order screen in an S4 system. So if I run this guided tour here, this is what it plays like normally. It says click on the Create menu. I click on that, Create Sales Order. Now here's an interesting thing while we're here. Here I've got Create Sales Order as the next thing I need to do. There's no next step listed. That's because the next step's really in a dialog box that's not visible on the current screen. But as soon as I select that, then it will point to where it's supposed to be. And now you see I don't have a previous link. Anyway, that's not really what I want to show you here. So I'm going to cancel that, cancel out of here. And now I'm going to go into edit mode and make some changes to that. So into edit mode, same guided tour. Now it's these two steps here, the click on create and the select create order that I'm going to show. And then we'll look at something on the select the order type next. So if I go to click create, edit that step, and go to the Appearance tab, there's now a new option called Spotlight on Hotspot. This is the thing that's just been added. So if I activate that, what it will do for me is give me a bunch of other options here. And you can see that it's already put this kind of gray border around the outside of the action area for the object. So these are the new options that you have. Before I change any of those, let me just preview that to show you what it's going to do for us. I hit preview and this is what it does. It basically grays out the whole of the screen apart from the area around the action that you need to perform. And obviously the bubble is not grayed out. So this is really what it does. Now let's go and have a look at these particular options in here. The spotlight options, the first one here, which says spotlight size, this is effectively how much space it's going to leave around the outside of the element before it gets to that bit where it starts to fade to gray. Okay, so it's effectively this area right here. And it's a number of pixels and it's taken from the very edge of the hotspot down to around the middle of where you start to see that fade. And the fade is governed by the second option here, which is a spotlight blur. And this is how many pixels it's going to fade from that point, which is in this case by default 16 pixels out. It's going to fade four pixels from that point into the white, and then it's going to fade four pixels from that point into the gray area as well. So it's effectively an eight pixel grade along there. So this one here, I'm just going to leave like this. And I'll apply that and then I'll go on to the next step. This one, just to show you the difference, I'm going to also add spotlight on hotspot. This one, I'm not going to give it any blur though. And we'll see what that looks like during playback. And finally, I'm going to change this one here for selecting the order type. I'm going to edit that. And on this one, I'll also give a spotlight on hotspot, but here I'm going to change the screen opacity. Now this slider controls basically how much it darkens the area around the spotlight. The higher the opacity, the darker that's going to be. So at the moment it's set to 50. I'm going to push that darker to maybe 65 and we'll see what that looks like. I can preview these things, but these things are on the drop down, so they won't show immediately. So I'll show them during playback. So I'll apply this, save, come out of edit mode, and now I'll run that guided tour again. So here's my start of it. Here's my first step where I've got 16 pixels around the edge and then I've got a four pixel blur. If I then go on to the next step, this is where I've also got 16 pixels, but I don't have a blur at all around here. So it's a very sharp edge to it. Now note here that this is a 50% opacity here. If I go on to the next step, this is where I set the opacity to 65%. And you can see it's quite a lot darker. 
In fact, it looks extremely dark because the outside of the screen here, anything outside of that dialog box, is greyed out by Fiori anyway, and only this create dialog box is really in white. So what I'm seeing is 65% here, but around the outside I've got 65% on something that's already slightly greyed out anyway, which is why it looks even darker. So I'll show you that just because that's something else that you might want to watch out for. And that's really the three options that you get here. I'll end this, cancel that, and go back into edit just to summarize again. The options that we have. Once you activate Spotlight on Hotspot, you've got the amount of white space to leave around the edge. You've got how much the blur should be from that point in towards the white and out towards the gray. And you've got the screen opacity, which indicates how dark the surrounding area will be made. So that's new functionality. Whether you use it or how useful your users find it is up to you. But that's what we have. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please subscribe.